Hello guys, welcome back to the channel, Bob here, and we're back in uh, Vampire Master Masquerade, as you can see, and we've got a uh, we've got a quest to go and find Alistair Grout, who is the uh, he's the primogen of the uh, oh the Malkavians actually. But what I what I thought we'd do before that is I'm just going to go and check back at my apartment because in the last video we kind of um, oh hello there. Uh, that'll do. <laughs> Never pass up an opportunity to feed. These blood's quite good, uh, quite good uh, quality as well. Awesome. Okay, almost full. Yeah, in the last video, uh, we picked up a stalker. Picked up some girl that we saved. Uh, I'm kind of now now regretting the decision. I think she might have gone back to my apartment, and I'm not quite sure what what the situation is with her. I, I don't know if I picked her up before, to be honest with you. Um, and I'm not quite sure what she does even. You know, can you send her out to do stuff? I don't know. <laughs> I don't really want to, um, uh, yeah, get her killed or anything. But we'll, uh, let's see if she's here. Is this my, my my apartment? Yeah, there she is. Holy smoke. I haven't even checked my emails for ages. Don't need a password. Anyone could walk in, couldn't they? Oh, password is sunrise. Password accepted. Okay. Don't touch the butter. Is that a new one? Don't touch the butter. The new extreme sport. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see what. Um, I'm so glad you're back. I've been waiting here just like you asked. I can't remember her name. Your place is um nice. Okay. Uh, is there something I can do for you? Anything? Just ask. Uh, there's something you should know before we go on. Get some rest. Let's see, I could use some, okay. Uh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Is that why you don't want me around? No. Oh, number one, let's go. What? Uh, you're joking, right? <laughs> That's like slang for something like catcher or some fetish term, right? Not like a blur, blur vampire. No, right? I'm a blur, blur vampire. <laughs> Oh god, okay. No. No, there's no such thing. You're this isn't funny anymore. Oh, this isn't how I was expecting it to go. Don't worry, my sweet pet. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. <laughs> I'll go for number one. Oh, I do love you so much. Whatever you are. Oh god. Okay. Uh now do something oh god what can i do to show my appreciation you have any money i'm feeling famished tell me a little about yourself wait here don't worry i'll be back okay well that's not it that's not basically not going how i was hoping so that's a bit freaky we'll just leave that for now <laughs> let's move on i should probably head back to i mean i haven't ne had any need for money really uh, i should probably head back to uh, to my club or my park club to get some cash but uh, uh, what's the point? I'm not quite sure what to spend money on there's a shop over there that sells stuff but I haven't needed anything so far I guess because I'm doing all of my fighting with um, with my bare hands I still can't, into, can't get into megahertz computing that's a pain in the arse anyway I think this I think this next section is pretty uh, pretty weird so we'll go and we'll go and have a look. Need a ride. Sure do. Let's go. Grouts Mansion. Yeah, I think it's quite a weird place this, so hopefully there's not too much fighting. Oh. You what are you doing here? Ah, I might ask you the same thing. No. You should get out of here. This place is bad news. Uh, pardon me. <laughs> okay. Quest log update. Uh, you encountered nines at Grant's Mansion. You seemed a bit out of sorts. Okay, well I think it is a pretty crazy place. There's a... Okay, I guess we can only go through the... Uh, 
guess we, I guess we can only go through the front door. Yep, seems that way. And I'm going to be able to get out of here now. Let's hope so. <laughs> there we go. I thought I was going to oh shit, we're going to get stuck then. Okay, let's head into the mansion. Don't think there's much else I can do outside. Antediluvian, a member of the dreaded. Holy, holy smokes! Oh god, I think there's going to be a lot of fighting here. Oh yeah, looks like it. Oof. Dead. Okay, well I appear to be wielding a. I'm wielding a thing. I just want my bare hands. Drop. Just drop the damn thing. Thank you. Okay. So hopefully I'm using bare hands. Let's go. Oh, god damn. Uh, what does my quest log say? Something about it doesn't feel right. Well, yeah, there's a lot of crazy people running around for a start. God damn. <laughs> Let's get down there, Nostratu dude. Oh, he's up again. Ouch. Okay. So, ton of combat stuff. <laughs> oh, hang on. It's a crazy guy with a, a candelabra here. I'm assuming we've got to beat him up. Oof. Okay. Uh, perception at once shapes the mind and rules over time. Time, however, erodes human perception and then in turn warps the mind. The mind is uh, capricious. Capricious having various effects on perception, time and the mind itself. With harmony, progress is made. Oops. Okay. Fair enough. Oh, some steps going up, but let's investigate these... Uh oh, okay. Oh, I don't even know what I did there. Okay, well I've I got one well, I've got one XP's for, um, for for unlocking a door just by randomly clicking a couple of <laughs> a couple of things. That's interesting. I have a ladder that goes up to nowhere. Okay, maybe the top bit opens at some other point. It's a very nice. Uh, oh look, there's a, yeah, there's a top section of the uh, of the library. Okay. Mm. Let's see what this is. Another unfortunate casualty to tide of time. Insane asylums. I lament their loss not only as brokerage houses for the breadth and depth of human psychosis, but also I shall mourn the disappearance of that peculiar environment present only in an insane asylum. That palpable atmosphere of twisted <laughs> brains and churning bowels, the odiferous melange of freely flowing bodily humours, <laughs> that gently rolling cacophony of distant sobs and screams, the muttered cursing at perceived enemies, and the blissful gurgling of the lobotomized, like a newborn babe discovering the sky. Hmm. Huh. I shall still find test subjects as surely as I find bloody sustenance in the night, but this climate, I fear, may never be replicated. Okay, that's Grout. Sounds like he uh, he's quite fond of asylums. By the uh, oh, looks of it, Scarlet Torkelson. 
Um, circus performer. Let's see what that is. Nope. 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 What's that book I just picked up? Oh, here we go. This item... Oh, okay. I haven't got a high enough research to go by looks. This, this item is beneath your abilities. Okay. Biography of 1930 circus performer, Scarlet, the perforated lady, Torkelson. Best known, best, best known as the assistant to Shaky Seal. <coughs> Manfredi, the notorious epileptic knife thrower. <laughs> that raises my dodge talent, actually. But uh, I need to... I think I need to raise my my research skill to uh, to have any ho any hope of that. Uh, computer inspection. Our oh, scholarship raises research and persuasion. Should we put a point into that? There we go. Uh, let's see if these books are any good to us now. Research skill of at least six. Okay. Okay, well, fair enough. Can't do anything with that. Let's go and see if I can find that door that I've opened. Okay, it seems though so Grout's pretty crazy. Uh, it's got a fondness for you know, insane asylums, like the sound of it. Uh, and, yeah, quite possibly maybe he was trying to create one of his own. Or oh, turn people crazy. No idea. That's an awesome picture. Wow, look at that. I wonder if that's Grout. I'd certainly have that on my wall. It is quite peculiar. I've been made to witness for my supernatural longevity. I am thinking of one unfortunate phenomenon in particular of unique interest to my station, both as a professional and as a sufferer of this vampiric condition. It seems the stream of time has begun to erode the moorings of my chosen course of study, for the methodologies that gave birth to psychology are slowly disappearing. I find myself in an era that overlooks the physical component of psychological pathology time and again in favor of the sophistic practices of Freud. Phrenology, dactopindalism, and the rest of the old guard has fallen by the wayside, its champions all silenced in death, with my unique exception. Would that I could make my voice heard again, although it may be suspicious should I return to popular medical discourse 50 years <laughs> after my my studies into the psychoses in secret. One day may I hold up my own cure as validation of the methods. I am confident no cure for my condition or that of my beloved wife lies within our figurative minds waiting to be unlocked by the correct combination of memories recovered from our childhoods. And I'm most certain it has nothing to do with the relationship between myself, my parents, and my genitals. Okay, well he's Malkavian, I think all the Malkavians are pretty, pretty pr sort of insane essentially and maybe he's, uh, yeah, he's so interested in the, uh, in the, uh, the mind that he's, uh, he's trying to work out how that, why that happens, why that is. Ooh. I've got to add like a little uh, little leapy forward uh, attack if I move back and press my button. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it knocked me out of that though. Loads of combat, but nothing too difficult at the moment, anyway. I should probably, I should, or I could probably sneak up on some of these guys. And just feed on them, I think, probably, can I? Yep, why not? I'm really not sure if I'm doing the, the correct thing here, but they do all seem pretty insane, so... And I believe they, they do attack me on sight, so... Look at the state of that chaff, that chaff there. Holy smokes. Locked door. I don't think any of these guys are vampires. Um, locked door. God damn it. Locked door. <laughs> God dear. 
Uh, oh, weird. Steel stairs go nowhere. Okay. We're kind of, uh, yeah, kind of still stuck. <laughs> right, okay. So it looks like it's back to the, uh, the library. I've obviously missed something there. That door's definitely locked. Let's see, uh... Now, where's that note again? Uh, takes a mind and resolves over time. Okay, so he's... Hmm, okay. Perception that once shapes the mind and rules over time. All right, human perception. Blah, blah, blah. Hmm. So, so we've obviously got to do... I kind of did them in, a, in an order, didn't I? And we, uh, we opened a door, but maybe there's something else I need to do with these two to make it up there. So that's, that would be perception, that would be time, and that would be mind. So we will go mind, perception, time, to absolutely no effect, I'm going to say. Can't get up there. So if we go time, mind, perception, See, I don't know if I've already done what I needed to do there by opening that door, but um, essentially, that yeah, there's uh, there appears to be no other way to go. Let's go time, perception, mind, no, nothing. Okay, <laughs> let's go back. I've got a few locked doors there. I don't, I don't appear to be able to open. Um, I don't even have any keys, really. So definitely, let's just super lock that one. That's a uh, that's a dagger. Any of these guys dropped a key? No. Nope. Oh, okay. Um, what the hell is that opened? Ah, oh, here we go. Oh, that's a big hit. Ouch. Dead. No, he's getting up some more. <laughs> okay. Well, at least the fighting's relatively easy. Oh, I can close it again. It's a weird place. Another one of his uh, radios. Hope you can hear the recordings, okay? With great regret on the missed opportunity that was my infector. Had I been conscious after the attack, I could have stopped the orderlies from locking her in the roaming pen. What I would give for just one interview. A few simple questions of the plague-ridden woman who met her end that dawn. And of course, there is no guarantee she would have been any more helpful than my current crop of test subjects. <laughs> Few could be called enthusiastic. Given the nature of the tests, I cannot expect the same fervor for more, but a modicum of cooperation would be appreciated. <laughs> <laughs> One called John went so far as to gnaw off his arm and escape into the floorboards like some feral rodent. Holy smokes. I still hear him scurrying about at night in front of these atrocious mess. Oh, blimey. Okay. The crazy gangs on here. Have a dead body. Yeah, definitely dead. Just make it short. Uh, another recording. Okay. My studies proceed at a languid pace. I'm mired in a foul ennui as my wife's illness advances. 
My subjects grow restless without proper supervision, but I cannot pull myself back from this black impression. How many nights I've wasted now, gazing from the tower walk, pondering the frailty of existence. Oh, okay. I wonder if the test subjects eventually just sort of took, uh, you know, took over the place, basically. That little tower. There's got to be stuff going on up here. This looks, this looks good. This looks good. Oof, nice big posh door. Oh wow. Oh look at the view. That's uh that's awesome. View of the city there, look at that. The little cars moving around. <laughs> Great stuff. What's over this side? No, nice big expensive houses by the looks of things. Okay. Okay, we're going to a different part of the house by the looks of it. Maybe this is on the other side of some of those doors that I couldn't get through. Come on then. Let's try my jump attack. Oh god damn. Just <laughs> keep knocking me out of the air. <laughs> okay guys, well I think I'll end this video here uh, and I'll be back soon to explore the rest of Grout's mansion. Thanks for watching.